Hi, I'm John Hollis with Core 360 Sports, and welcome back to the Georgia Dome for today's tour de force performance by the Atlanta Falcons in a 48-33 win over the Carolina Panthers. Wide receiver Julio Jones was the star of the day, hauling in 12 passes for a franchise record 300 yards and a touchdowns to lead the Birds to the third consecutive victory. Um, especially uh, a divisional opponent, and um, let me go out there and uh, put one-on-one -on, -one on me. But uh, we took advantage of it today, and uh, we had some explosive plays. Um, you know, uh, week in, week out, you know, uh, if it's in the run game or the passing game. Uh, today was my day. You know, uh, next, next, uh, next game might be some new, making some plays, Cardi, uh, Gabriel. Uh, who knows? You know, um, we, we all have to be ready and uh, step up to the, uh, the challenge and, and beat one-on-one. I mean, they were just matching up man-to-man, one-on-one -on -one coverage. You don't, do that. You, you, don't want to, you don't want to do that to that man. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like this offense has really picked up steam in the last few weeks. What's been the difference since, say, the season opener, and how do you sustain that? Uh, the attention to details, we, you know, we pay a lot of attention to them, and we uh, stay t tuned in to the little things. Once you do the little things, the big things that happen. Quarterback Matt Ryan was equally as impressive, completing 28 of 37 passes for 503 yards and four touchdowns as the Falcons carved up the Panthers' defense for 571 yards of total offense. That was more than enough for an opportunistic Falcons defense that consistently pressured Panthers quarterback Cam Newton and came up with key plays down the stretch to preserve the win. Uh, you know, we had a great game plan going in. You know, offense was rolling. Offense was rolling. Defense was rolling. I mean, that's the type of effort, at least for those three quarters, you know, Offense actually never stopped. But the other two phases, we were rolling, man, for three quarters straight. And that's the type of effort we want. That's the type of effort we look for. It doesn't happen every week. I don't think that happens every week for any team. <laughs> but you know what? We definitely uh, send a message out there today. Uh, you know what? We're, we're turning things around here. We're, that's the message that, you know, this is not the 2015 Falcons, 2014, all those years prior. You know, this is a new team, new players, new faces. You know, and, and we're going out there trying to play and win every game. So work in progress. You know, we're never going to be satisfied. I don't care if we get eight sacks. We should have got nine, you know, and, and I don't care if we hit the quarterback five times. We should have hit him six. You know, that's the mentality that we have up front. You know, those guys did a great job collectively, but it's not just us. It's the coverage and, and, and the play calling, too. Atlanta will look for more of the same magic next week when it travels to Denver to play the reigning NFL champion Broncos. For Core 360 Sports, I'm John Hollis, and thanks for tuning in.